Hi guys, so today it is 31 degrees, 31 degrees. And honestly, props to me for filming right now because my flat is even hotter and I am so warm. But I need to stop complaining about the weather in my videos, so let's move on from that. But if I do get sweaty in this video, that is because it is so Anyways, I'm going to do another first impression video. I've literally just bought some makeup, it just arrived, and I'm so excited to do it. So, let's get cracking. So the first product is a NYX foundation. This is in the shade TCDF10 Buff. And I've tried this formula of foundation before, but I've never tried this shade. So, I'm going to give it a go. And I actually don't have moisturiser on today, so you can see what it's like on actual bare skin. I haven't got moisturiser on because I li it literally just won't stick to my face today. So, I'm hoping that the blooming makeup will. feels quite wet on my skin so I'm just kind of patting it in with my fingers. Obviously my beauty blender was wet as well so that won't have helped but yeah. Do you like how I've painted my nails to match my top? Ooh. I literally just did that as well like two seconds ago. It's only one layer and I haven't painted them nicely either. I just wanted something on for the video. Oh god I'm so hot. Right, so I'm just going to leave that for a second to sink in and I don't have a new concealer so I'm just going to be taking one that I normally use, which is the Maybelline Eraser Eye. I feel like brands don't really bring out concealer that often because I've, I've never got any in my PO box. And it's not something that I go and buy as well because it takes me so long to use one tube up. So I just think, what's the point? This concealer is so good though. Just makes you look so radiant. I hope this lighting is okay, by the way. I couldn't find anywhere to film because the sun keeps coming in and out. And this is like the only place where the light kind of stays consistent. Thought that I'd film here today. Let me know what you think about it. Like framed by fairy lights. I bet that plant is really annoying to some people. <laughs> Sorry about that. So in the last video where I used this foundation, I actually mixed it with a Cover Effects highlighter and it gave me a really dewy glow and obviously today I've just used it on its own so I was worried that it was gonna just fall a bit flat but it actually looks super nice. Can you guys see? Just looks really nice on my skin. I feel like I'm so yellow. <coughs> Ooh. When my feelings on fire Cause I'm a bad liar Ooh. And I'm back. Just gonna remove the foundation from my eyelids and my lips better. Right, I'm sweating my balls off again. So let's powder my face. Oh, oh, I can feel how sweaty I am on this brush. Oh, oh this was maybe not a good idea. I'll do it anyway. <laughs> good test for if the makeup is sweat proof which it's not marketed as I should have done like a sweat proof makeup video moving on to highlighter I'm actually gonna highlight before I bronze and I've got this highlighter from Illa Masca it's called epic it looks kind of epic as well so let's give this a go Ooh, can you see that it's kind of pink toned it's nice. It doesn't blend that well, but it is a nice highlighter. Moving on to bronzer, let's use the Hoola Light. This might be too light for me, but I want to try it anyway. I feel like it's so good that they've come out with this because I find Hoola, the normal one, too dark. Even when I've got a tan on, I just think it's too dark in a weird shade. So let's try this. quite nice actually it's super subtle as you can see but it's actually lovely and it smells really quite strongly actually but it just kind of smells like summer I'm also gonna try their dandelion twinkle blusher I'm pretty sure this is a new one I don't have dandelion but I've always wanted it so I'm happy that I've got this I feel like this is gonna be more of a highlighter but let's try it anyway That's pretty. That just gives a really nice glow. Look at that. That powder feels so soft. Like this foundation 
when you put powder on top of it, it just makes it feel so nice and smooth. I really like that. I know you can't really see it too much at this end, but I've got a big window like behind me that I wish had curtains because I would like close it and put a different light on, but it doesn't. So I've got like one light shining on me from that direction. Then the other one is backlit, which is kind of annoying. But like I said, this was literally the only place I could film with okay lighting. So I'll take it. Let's add some to the forehead. I've just given my forehead a bit of a dab. <laughs> oh, this is so subtle. I really like this a lot might become one of my new holy grails. Normally I go for a really strong contour and bronze, but that's just super lovely. A really nice everyday bronzer as well for me. I'm gonna do my brows and then I'll come back. that is my brows done they look so much better now that I've gone and had them done don't they they look amazing but I'm now going to use the Tom Ford eye product this is super expensive it was 48 pounds but it had five star reviews and I was like right get in my basket <laughs> this is called naked bronze it's the shade 01 and what this is is it's a cream product in the bottom like that and then in the lid, there's like a sparkle bit and they have four shades of these. So I'm just assuming you put the cream on and then just put a bit of the powder on top. And it also comes with a little mirror, which is so cute from the go. It reminds me a lot of the Maybelline colour tattoo in On and On Bronze, except for this is a lot more like deep. I feel like On and On Bronze is quite grey toned. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I'm just gonna pop this glitter on top in the middle. really quick look to do if you just want something super simple really quick easy you could just do this pop some mascara on and be good to go but I'm actually gonna do something on the lower lash line so I've received these from Urban Decay there's a lime green and a blue and I think I might do the lime green today there's also a brown but I think that would be too obvious although this is a really nice shade it's like a burnt orange if you can see that there, pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just go underneath the eye. I've never really found a color like this before. Ooh, I like it. I'm just going to do the other eye. Right, I am going to take this kind of brownie orangey shade on my upper lid. Oh 
my god, I love that. I feel like this is going to be such a nice kind of original look. Woohoo! Shout out to me for being original. Sweating. On to mascara. I've got this new one from It Cosmetics. It's a superhero mascara. I heard someone talk about this. Uh, oh god, I can't remember who it was, but they said that it's like one of their favourite mascaras. So I'm hoping that I can just put this on and be done. I don't really want to do false lashes today, but I might have to to balance out the green. I'm not sure yet, we'll have to see. is literally awesome I did three coats and it looks amazing that's like the best mascara I've used in so long it does smell a bit like paint now but I don't actually mind that <laughs> it wasn't that bad but I'm actually gonna use a blusher for my lipstick this is the NYX boho chic cream blusher I can't find anything else that I want to really use on my lips but why not use this <laughs> Okay, that might be a bit too pink. So I've just blotted it off a bit and I'm gonna take this Clarins Eclat Minute Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil in Mint. I feel like this might plump my lips a bit. The applicator is so cool, look how fat that is. Mmm. This feels so nice. Jeremy! Ah! You're in pain, aren't you? Yeah. Jeremy! <laughs> oh, he's waving! Hello! <laughs> oh. You're going there. Be good. So this is the finished makeup look. I love that lip oil that I just put on. It feels so nice. Feels like it's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon either. And it's giving me like a slight minty tingle. It's so nice. So I might start using that instead of lip balm. So I think it's quite clear that I'm obsessed with this foundation. This is honestly one of the best foundations that I've tried in such a long time, the NYX. Total control. It's actually incredible and like it's stayed on while I've been sweating throughout this video I've dabbed my face no joke about 40 times and it's stayed on giving me such a nice matte finish And then I really really like the dandelion blusher Looks stunning. I'm not too keen on the Illamasqua highlighter just because it went a little bit bitty But the color of it's really nice. It's like a rose gold pinky shade the bronzer. I love the eyeshadow thing I love and I'll definitely get a lot of use out of it. The mascara, honestly, it might be a holy grail. I think it's incredible. Like no mascara has worked this well on me in ages. And I'm also obsessed with this green and the orangey brown one actually. They're both stunning. So yeah, there's so many good things to check out from this video. Definitely make sure you do and let me know if you like this makeup look in the comments below. And Give this video a thumbs up as well if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!